Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I am so happy to have all my seasoned and new friends. Today is my completed pages day. This little uh, notebook has seen me through. Stuck this multiple times. Now there's too much cat hair. Anyway, I will go over my, like, whatever, planning, journaling stuff in a different video. Today we're just here to wrap up. So December, my unofficial, meaning I just picked my own prompts, was to work on Christmas pages and then a carryover from November, which I'm pretty sure, again, we'll see it in my goals or plans for the year, is I wanted to do thankful, um, I don't know, season, Thanksgiving in December. So I was trying to color in books that were gifted to me. So I did pretty good. I colored in a total of 36 books this month. And of those books, 14 of them were gifts. Thank you, friends. And I did a total of, where are my pages? 65. Is that right? I might be off now because I did three more pages on the 31st. So we'll just say it's either 65 or 68. But I did do 28 pages from those thankful books. So that's pretty good. I did not finish my 10 books to finish. I only got seven done, which does mean I actually completed two more books, but there are 39 pages of the 317 I did not get to. So again, we'll cover that different video. Um, otherwise, yeah, I did okay. I would say of the pages I did of those 65, which is still insane. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the numbers off by three. 19 were color by number, and then there would have been 49 that were not color by number. So let's just dive into all of the fun. Whoops. Oh, and the other fun thing that I like to show you, some people may care and some may not. So Shut your eyes if you don't care. Uh, this is what I used up. I used up 23 markers slash pens. So this is an assortment of my Bix, um, Crayola, Take Notes, which have actually lasted pretty well. They're just pretty well. They're just starting to dry out. Uh, a couple of super tips and some alcohol markers my very first spree I have to say goodbye to kind of sad then I have some various gel pens very sad to see my gold Pentel sparkle pop these though if you ever see these they are Crayola and they are called art or it says art edge and they are a glitter pen it's got a bullet nib it's I don't know if it's like a paint pen yeah, where's one still with some ink in so I can show you. So what's really cool is this end of the barrel, you can see if there's still ink in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not focusing. And you just shake it up. It's like a paint pen. It's like this guy. Here's his little ball bearing. He's empty. I milked the silver. But they are like good payoff. Not that expensive. And I love that you can see how much um, ink you have left. Then these gel pens, the only thing of note here, these are all Dollar Tree gel pens, is look what the chewer, Frankie, he honestly bit the end of it and it shattered. That's how sharp his teeth is. The little man has some problems. We'll say that. And I used up a washi tape. Oh my goodness. This was like, I think, I mean, I've used up like the Dollar Tree ones, the those little thin ones before, and I didn't show you because it was like, yeah, whatever, Kathy, that's not exciting. But it's exciting to use up a regular sized roll of washi tape. So, okay, let me get set and we will get into the pages. Okay, I don't really know that I have these in an order. Probably not. I'll explain it as I go. So first I'm going to go through the books that were gifted to me throughout the year. A couple of these may be so new I haven't shown them on the channel yet, but I'm not going to say who they were gifted by because that just will take more time and this video is going to be long enough. So I colored, I think, three pages in Circularism Art Books Yuletide by Eclipse, AJ Quinnell. I like to do a lot of my color by numbers. I start from the back just in case there's bleed through. So 
I did this one and here, this is that premium paper so it works like a dream with alcohol markers and I really love how it turned out. I thought about going in and maybe using um a gel pen like silver or something to add some sparkle to the white sections and then I decided heck nope I think I'm gonna just leave it and oh that one's not a good one this, you can see this premium paper this was the bleed through can you even see that not much still I always put a um, blotter sheet behind because here this one you can see a little bit a little bit of bleed through okay so I did the wreath I did this a cupcake and rocking horse, and I'm not sure what that is. Figgy pudding, maybe? I don't know. And I did the Nutcracker. So these books, I just pull out. There's actually two copies of this, and I just tore out the one from the back to use as my reference. Um, what I like, though, is they only list the colors you're going to use on the left-hand side. And then I just use this for a reference, but really you could go off just the words. So those are the three I did in that book. Next up, I did several pages in Line Spots Dots Christmas. I received this as a gift earlier this year. So I don't remember if I've told you guys, but what I do is I um, keep this in my work bag and I can just keep it on my desk underneath my other paperwork and as I get, as the more stressed I get throughout the night, I just fill in dots. <laughs> that's how it goes. Or lines or whatever. So that's how I work in these books and why you might think it was a stressful month when you see how many I did. So the first page I did was a buddy color with the lovely Christy, Crafting with Christy. We did this ornament page. I've used, I'm pretty sure, all just gel pens. I've been using metallic gel pens, which I don't use that much in my coloring other coloring but they work perfect for here and I have the supply so I want to use them before they dry up so um I should have shown you Christy's page as well as I go forward I will mention my buddy colors and I always try if I have their copy I have a couple buddy colors where they didn't finish yet um but then watch for those on Instagram otherwise I will show you my buddies version of the page as well <clears throat> okay so I did that page then we did the we. I always say we like I'm more than one person. I'm just me. Um, the Christmas a cat. What is kind of fun is in real life, it's really hard to see this and it could be because of the color I used, but they look so cool in like a picture or on video. So it's like extra mystery to me. Sometimes I can finish the page and not know what it is till I look at it through a picture. This is one I really had no clue about. I was like, I can tell it's an animal. Well, now you can tell it's an owl family. This one I liked. I will frequently, when you can tell what the image is, sometimes I will use more than one color. Just depends what I want to do. So I use three colors for my little angel. This one, I can't tell. I think it's a church. I was like, is it a church chapel with like the, you know, star? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's not, a, unless it's a gingerbread church. I can't tell. And this one, yeah, I was using greens and actually I used three different colors of green gel pen. You can probably really only tell up here. Um, the other two were pretty close. But these are also great if you're just trying to use up or use up. So this one's very difficult and I'm pretty sure it's all the color. But if you look closely, like in without the camera, I couldn't tell you what this is. But here, I'm pretty sure I can see Santa in the sleigh and a reindeer. But this is another way to show you that the darker the ink color actually works the better. But sometimes you just want to go pale. But maybe not so much on the lines. They're really tricky. I did this one in non-traditional Christmas colors, but it was a fun one. And... That's the last one I did. This is my next one. So I think I did all of these this year since I received the book. So this book got quite a bit of love. And I'll, I don't know, I have a couple of these style of books. So I'll always have one with me at work. So you may see this pop up outside the Christmas season. Next, I have Christmas Gnomes coloring book. I don't know. Where does this one say who it's by? Did I find it? Oh, I had to look on Amazon. It is by J.Anna. So 
it's cute and I did one page in here and I just did very simple simple coloring but I really love how this guy turned out this was one of my uh Christmas or New Year's Eve pictures that I colored so I didn't for me this is crazy I didn't add any glitter add a little bit of white gel pen and I did the bell in metallic sharpie otherwise straight alcohol marker coloring so Christmas gnomes next is Christmas doodles by Ava Brown oh I did put a tab in here I was like did I forget a tab I did this kind of fun and crazy one also it was a New Year's Eve coloring and I used sharpie permanent type markers I have my sharpies and my bix and generics all in one little bag so there you go some Christmas cupcakes and ornaments having fun Christmas doodle next I worked in 50 Christmas mandalas color by number from Sachin Sach Deva. I gotta switch. I got the books up in front of me here. There we go. And did I do two, I think, in this book? This was so fun. Well, every book is fun, but I did the penguins. And I just used same for these, I like using that same permanent marker bucket. And then I just added some white gel pen for accents. And the other page I did was this one with the lights and the bags of presents. All your kind of Christmas stuff. And same thing here. I used permanent markers. I did use a metallic silver, which is, a, I don't know if it's a Sharpie or the pen in gear. They do a really nice job, though, if you want a metallic um, permanent marker. And white gel pen a little bit all over the place so these were very fun then I got to work in a sweet Christmas this was my very first colored caramel book which was a gift and I was excited and it's a very simple page and I did it non-traditional colors do I need to pull up a little bit all right I got the giant pile of books hold on hold on Okay, hopefully that's a little better. At least it is for me. I have my stack of 65 no, I have books. Oh no, that was 65 pages. Whatever, I have the stack of books over on my left and I had them too close. I couldn't fully open my book. So here is the page I did, the kitty cat in a cat snow globe. And I did a very simple color palette. I um, knew I wanted this one to be a black cat so I used my silver metallic Sharpie again to do the lines so they wouldn't get lost. And then I'm like, oh, I should do it on the gray one. But it's so close, I actually think I kind of messed up the face by losing all the details. So I tried to draw it back in with a white gel pen. Anyway, this is what you get when you live in a world of cats, which I do. So I was so excited to do this page. Then... These are still, so those were the Christmas, unless I got them out of order. The rest of these are still books that were gifted to me, but they are non-Christmas. So here we have Russian Dolls Color by Number, Prachi Dewan Zachdeva. I received this as a gift, thank you, and I had it in and out of my cart so many times, especially once I saw people starting to color in it, and I am so glad to have it in my collection. I did two pages, so I have this one, which was very fun, and you can see sometimes markers die, and this was one of those in my empties. It was a big intensity, but I just made the most of it, and it is what it is. Otherwise, as a whole, I still like it, and I added a bunch of white gel pen, and then I did do the Christmas page from in here. Or I think there's more than one Christmas page, but I did. This is actually the first page I did out of the book. Is that not adorable? I think it's adorable. I love the little Santas. Once again, white gel pen and the metallic silver from Russian Dolls. I was able to do one page in my 50 Snowflakes to Color by Camellia Angel Kova. 
And I did this one all in glitter gel pen in colors of blues and silver. I love it. This whole book, I just envisioned myself doing a lot of um, gel pen work. And this would be another good one for me to bring to work when I am stressed out. Because I wouldn't have to worry too much about color palette. And yeah, I can just kind of roll with it. I did a page in 50, let's see if I just did one, 50 autumn miniatures. And I did this one. It was for a gratitude prompt in a scavenger hunt, and I will tell the stories behind that when I do my completed pages video for that hunt. But I like it. I added a lot of, because it's fall, but where I live, we get frost on our pumpkins. So I added some frosty, frosty accents. 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. I actually did a couple in here, I think. Yep. So I did this page. Not so sure about the color scheme, but sometimes you have pages that make sense and sometimes they don't. This was, it's still a completed page. Here was one. I had goals. I thought at the beginning of the month I was going to do like in my, any book I was going to do like a season swap and do Christmas colors in it. Well, I think I did one, and that was in the 50 Ocean Miniatures, so I did it all in Christmas colors because I thought she's tucked in waiting for Santa in her peppermint um, clamshell bed. <laughs> and I did this page as well. This was a buddy color with my friend... Michelle, Michelle's Box of Hues. We, I still didn't finish them all. In November, we picked a page in all of the miniature books to celebrate her birthday. And um, this is what I got. Oh, I forgot to show you my screw up. So this is what happens when you put a blotter page in, but you put it an extra page behind. So I had my blotter page when I was coloring this, but it was behind this page. So before I noticed, not sure how I'm going to fix those, but it will be a fun challenge. I could make it happen. So I really love how this page came out. I used um, Sharpie, a lot of the Mystic Gems colors. And yeah, I really love my happy dancing fish. I did one in this book, and I will be doing a flip on this coming up on one Flip It Friday, hopefully in January, because I did have a request for that after I posted it on Instagram. This is Meow Coloring and Chill by Maura Summer. And I did the first page. Actually, I asked my husband to pick the page, and he just picked the first page. So I did this cool groovy cat, Chillaxin. He looks a lot like my cat, Huey. I need to try and insert the picture of him sitting in our sink, like up on his elbow, looking like he's all that. So... This was very fun. I did glitter gel markers. Actually, I used the Crayola ones and um, alcohol markers. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Another gifted book was This Past Year Dreaming of Cats. Here is work of a Chewy the Frankie Frankenstein cat. See that? How he bites into my stuff that broke that pen? Yep, that's the Huster, or not Huster, Huey's not the one. Frankie's the one that bites. So Dreaming of Cats is a Julia Rivers book. And I did this Christmas page. This book is very fun. It's like a page full of doodles smushed together. Not even doodles so much, just um, cats. Like if you were dreaming, it would be all these crazy cats together. So I did the cute... Christmas page and there are a lot of things so I did not even try to do a color palette I just went in and colored all the colors and it's not so I, you just work in sections it's like any of those super busy um, pages I just say start somewhere and work your way around it Okay, this is Cute Kawaii Coloring, and this book, I think I have three pages done in. I was They were fairly simple to color, and I just rolled with it. It's a Chartwell book. I don't think there's a specific illustrator that is um, 
credited. Not that I can see. Just it's Chartwell. So let's look at my pages. Cute kawaii coloring. I did this of all of the vegetables. And it is pretty fun. I am impressed. I don't impress. I mean, I'm not like proud. Ah, uh, it's pride cometh before the fall. Just keep talking, Kathy. I don't like to say like I'm proud of things, but I used um like my glaze pens, the non jelly roll version, but they are very nice. And I know I have tags, but let's just do it this way. I did the kitties. Fill your heart with all the love of all the cats. And I did this one, which I used all neon markers for. So I really like, these are very cute. I was like, seriously, they were so quick and fun to color. Some of them are more detailed, but all of them are a nice, not all, most of them are a large um, images. So I look forward to coloring more in this book. And this is the last of the gifted book section of my completed pages. This is Creative Haven Whimsical Mandalas by Shayla Kerrigan. I did one page, a wintry. And I added, or I used a silver glitter gel pen as the primary accent, as well as then coordinating with each of the colors. Oh, I just realized I forgot I used stickles for my snow and I forgot one snow spot. Otherwise, I like this book for mandalas because it kind of goes beyond just the circle. It gives you a little couple extra accents, which I enjoy. So that was the one page out of Whimsical Mandalas. So let me regroup and um, get the next section. Okay, these are the non-holiday um, completed pages just that I worked on in my stash. This book is a Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope Stained Glass Coloring Book, Volume 1. I don't know if there's Volume 2 yet, but it's an April Amber book. If you guys did not know, she does not have just chibis. I don't have any of her chibis. This is my only April Amber. So I did this one all in actual highlighters, traditional highlighters from the office work drawer. So one page. These are very nice um, mandala-esque, but they are, yeah, another one to keep at work for those stressful moments. Here is a book that was on my 10 books to finish, and I finished it. I'm so excited. Fairy Magic by Color Questopia. This is the white background version. And I did the first, the last two to me, but they were the first two in the book. I did this music girl. And with all of my fairies, I give them a title or a name or I put them in a scene. So she is practicing for the big parade because this was, I think, well, it was after the Thanksgiving Day Parade. But I thought, okay, she needs to still practice for New Year's Day. So the Rose Bowl Parade. So she is practicing away. And then the last page, which is the first, is this beautiful fairy um with a horse and I totally switched up my colors, which if you're a seasoned friend, you know I do that all the time to make her, she did have, it was supposed to be a red dress. Then I just switched it and gave her green wings. So I kind of tweaked it so she is my Christmas fairy. And um, here she's talking, He's I guess it's a horse, it's not a unicorn. And I called her the reindeer recruiter fairy because horses, unicorns, you know, you need backup. What if the big day one of the reindeer is ill? Well, little pixie dust and this guy could be on the team. So this book is completed. I will have a flip of it coming up. I still, I'll be filming it um, probably yet tonight, but it'll be up probably not for a while. So very excited to finish a book. I did a page as a buddy color with a friend. We actually did two out of um, these Dover books. So here is the first one, My Backyard Color by Number, Maggie Swenson. Swanson, not Swenson. And this is the page we did. I picked it. I wanted to do a winter page. 
and I just used um, water-based, budget-friendly markers, a little bit of glitter. And this book, if you don't have it, this is a great one if you're looking for something to do for a 10 books or on a like a book to finish in a year. The pages are fairly simple. They are um, have some smaller details, but I think it's fairly easy to still read the numbers. But I don't know. Uh, and it kind of just takes you through the whole year. So you could start it at the beginning of the year. It actually starts more with spring and works through summer and then you get some fall and there's obviously some winters at the back. There is a bit of shadowing, although even some actual bleed through with the um, even the water-based markers, but I think once I color this side, it will be fine. So that was the one page. Sorry, I forgot to show. And then my friend, Linda, this is her version of the page. And I was so excited because we are friends prior to my starting my coloring channel. We're online friends. And now she, I don't know, maybe she's colored forever too, but it was very fun to do a buddy color with her. I have... One page done, I think, out of Floating Mandala's 3D Adult Coloring Book by Tabitha Barnett. My friend Tammy introduced me to these, and she's like, hey, did you see Volume 1's on sale? So I had to buy it. I don't know if it's still on sale. I think they're regularly $9, $10, and it was on sale for 6 So I had to buy it, and this is the page I did. Currently, specifically only with the markers I am trying to use up. This is what's left in the set other than the grays. So I thought, well, we're going to see how they look together. <laughs> and they look perfectly fine. Um, I'm not sure if I'll work what order, but for now I started at the back. Well, not technically at the back, because there is this page that I will probably do if I actually want to complete the book. But it's very nice. And you get, I think there's like 60 in here. 63! So even for $10, this is a decent book. So that leads us into Floating 3D Mandalas Volume 2 by Tabitha Barnett. This is a book, um, you will see it in an upcoming video, but I am working on this with my friend Tammy. We are going to try and complete the book in 2022. So I had to catch up because she already had the book. So I had three pages I needed to do. This one I did a basic, yep, a rainbow theme. And I like how that turned out. This one, I had a set of Tombos that were called Holiday. So I did it all in those. And this one I did in Sharpies. So I have three done. And now we are ready to dive in for the rest of the year. Next up, I have a page from 50 Jungle Miniatures. And this was another page that I had done as a buddy color in, oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump ya. Um, it, we had picked it in November for my friend Michelle, Michelle's box of hues for her birthday. And can you see my favorite part is my elephant's toes, my polish. So I colored them in blue and then I used my, I've shown this, Guys, if you're at your dollar stores, look for nail polish. This is almost, I think I've used half of it, almost half already, just on my coloring books. And it works so well to give that confetti look. So that was my page from 50 Jungle Miniature. Hey guys, editing Kathy here. I forgot a page. And if it weren't a buddy color, I would have waited. So now my numbers are even more off. Anyway, I did a page out of 50 Winter Miniatures. Amelia Angel Cova. And here it is. This one is my page. And I love it. And I did it with my friend Sherry and her page. Again, this girl is super talented. Check it out. The only thing I did, I used, it wasn't a Stickles brand, it was an off brand. And I failed to see, I put it on and then the marker bled. Or maybe my marker wasn't dry. I'm not sure. Either way, got some extra rosy cheeks and a sticky, runny sucker. But I love our page. Thank you, Sherry. Back to the rest. Chores. 
Next up, I did work in um, Chibi Girls, Two Books in One, Grayscale by Jade Summer. I did two pages. So this is the first page. I have been wanting to do this page. I actually was going to do it back in my birthday month, but I didn't because <laughs> um, there was like so much detail. But I really like how it turned out. Uh, it is a buddy color with Zombie Girl. She has not sent me hers yet, so watch Instagram for that when I get her completed page. And I just, like, went to town on all of this. Did my, um, glossy accents on her eyes. Actually did stickles on her eyes first to give her some glitter. I'm like, oh, she's, if I were taking a bath, I'd want a bag of cookies nearby. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I did a bunch of glaze type pen. Um, I did my jelly roll. What are they called? Like the shadowy. I'm blanking on the name. I always blank on the name. And I did a cool technique to give the towel texture. But whew, she was a lot of details, but I really enjoy it when it's done. And then the last page I completed in here was this one. And I was late. This was a, a buddy color with Minnie Rachie out here, Rachel. I was behind. Um, she finished hers in November. But do I have, I will show you hers as well. And I got mine done the beginning of December. I was just running late with that. But again, I really love how you can do the these pages and you can like dark out the backgrounds if it's too much for you or you can just take your time and kind of do a bunch of different accents and focus on it so I love my lady who's waiting for her cab trying to go to work a little way to oh so I love when I can tweak in a little personalization so this little pink bug back here um my aunt-in-law actually has a pink Volkswagen bug and then I used my um, license plate which is Wahoo so those are the two pages from Jade Summer Chibi Girls next up we have Yippee Kawaii Yay Mandala Magic Volume 1 this was on my 10 books to finish and it's finished I loved this book it was so much fun to color in all year long and I will have also at a later date, probably in January on a Flip It Friday, I will show you the completed book. But first, I will just show you what I finished. So this page is now officially done. It was your tester page where you could um, try different mediums. Did I do that? No, because I don't test anything. I just roll with it, even if it doesn't work. But I colored each of the elements the same as their corresponding page. So I think it turned out really cute. Then I have this page going hog wild and I wasn't sure how to do what colors when I this page I kind of held off on. I'm like, I'm going to do it all pinks, which looks really cool. But no, I used the um, Sugar Plum palette from iPanda Colors. Uh, if you don't follow her out on Instagram, she posts a palette challenge every month. And I didn't realize it until after the fact that so I loved the colors and then I'm like oh this kind of is like a nod to green eggs and ham which sorry little piggies you're gonna end up being ham but <laughs> it just in my humor it cracked me up that's just how I roll then I did this page right here the soy good sushi and I don't eat sushi, so I had to Google actual reference images. And I did find a color palette inspiration that I used. And I like how it turned out. This, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like wasabi, but to me it looks like little green poop emojis. But I still like it. And this was a buddy color with my friend Amanda Downey. She's working on her page. If she has it sent to me during editing or before I finish editing, you'll be seeing it. If not, watch for it on um, Instagram. And I didn't count this as a completed page, but I, this is the quality of this book. So this is the blotter page that comes in the book. So I, when I first started, cut this out and thought it is going to be so cool to use and then as everything, it would get colored because of, you know, the seepage, especially I used alcohol markers a lot. 
I could not get any bleed through, very, very little actual marker bleed through. So what I started doing, because I wanted it to be fun, is I would use glitter gel pen to accent after I was done coloring. And because they take a while to dry too, I would take the page and go like this and scoop up the glittery goodness. But yeah, it still did not nearly get as dirty as I wanted it to. <laughs> Here is a 10 books to finish. That did not get finished, but I'm okay with that. I think I have five pages left. So let me show you the ones I did finish. I did ooh, the birthday page, which I had not done. So here's where I used a whole heck of a lot of my nail polish. I gave confetti in the background. I used just a black sharpie, blacked it out, and then I painted the nail polish over it. And I used a other, this one, the pink, or no, I used the purple. The, this is just a purple fine glitter nail polish. And I did all of her hair. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's it's a done page. And I use my glaze markers, so yay, another one done. And I think I only did one other page. I had several marked here, but I only got one more done. And that is this page, which was the holiday feast page. And I will tell you the story behind it here. But first I wanna show you, this was a um, buddy color with my friend Deb. And you can see her a beautiful page. She is on Instagram. And this is once again a Deb thing where she does amazing work. And I'm like, how am I going to compare? So I tried to go a different route, going with the pastel. I use my pastel of hoo hoos. And then I like the effect. And I will use this in a later one. So it kind of gives a vintagey feel using the pastels. And then when you do the. Uh, what I swear I saw somebody say they did was they took like their glitter body spray. So I'm like, I have a bunch of this stuff from um, Bath and Body Work and they would spray it on their page just to give it a little glitter shimmer. Maybe that was a pencil page. I should really pay more attention because FYI, if you color in alcohol markers and then you spritz perfume, which is primarily alcohol onto a page, uh, there is a very faint sparkle glitter from there, but it also reacts with the alcohol in the marker, and you get this effect. Again, very cool effect. Um, don't know that I would have done it with food. Does it look moldy? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I was going to try and come up with a story, and the only story I could come up with was this was the Polaroid picture somebody had taken and left it on the table, and it got splattered by gravy. Anyway, all in all, it's a very cool effect, but um, it wasn't what I intended to do. But sometimes happy accidents are the best. So that is the two pages I have from Hannah Lynn Whimsy Girls. And next up are going to be all the rest are Christmas pages. Okay, first up is Dover Christmas Color by Number by Becky Radke. I did a couple pages in here because tis the season. I did the hanging lights page, which is very cute. And I think I did three pages. I did the gingerbread house, which was another buddy color with my friend Linda, who has this book. And one of the things, I say this all the time, I enjoy doing buddy colors out of color by numbers because even though one would think they'd come out the same, if you follow the color palette, which we all know I don't always, but just because of the different mediums you use or even the colors you pick, like here it just tells you red, purple, orange. It doesn't give you a reference because it's just your simple, simple choices. So you can see how different our pages looked. And I was happy to get this one done. And I also did loading the sleigh, which looks like a whole bunch of fun, crazy chaos. So very fun to get a couple pages done in here. 
This was a book I'd been anticipating all year and I was so glad when it arrived. So Mystery Colors Christmas, Joe Bartos. I got two pages done. I did this one of the, I believe it's the fruitcake. Why is, seriously guys, I apologize. I don't quite know the best lighting. It always looks okay to me, but in the camera, it is what it is. I'm not a professional. So I did this one and I used my, did I use the towel trees? I used alcohol markers, which um, kind of gives you a heck of a lot of bleeding, but it worked. And then I did this, the ugly sweater page. This, they do have like a lot of little spaces when you look at them uncolored. But once you get in there and look around, it's like a lot of it is the same color. So you end up with a large section. Still, I do not recommend this for anyone that likes to color late at night or has to wear any type of glasses because unless you have 20-20 vision, this one can be a challenge. But I do love my page. I used a little bit of a glitter gel pen as accents. This was a purchase I bought this year and I was very excited. I held off on buying a lot of the new Christmas releases. They're amazing, but I still, with everything I'm showing you, did not get into all of my Christmas books, which means I just need to not buy them. But again, you can color Christmas all year. That's not the, the issue. The issue is I have too many books. That's the issue. But I love this one. I don't always ex like the real small squares, but it was it was fun to switch it up a little bit. So here we have Santa. The thing is, you don't know which, which image you're getting. So I just randomly like opened the book and picked page because there's not an answer key on these. You just go for it and your page comes out the way it's going to come out. So this is Santa in his truck bringing, I'm pretty, I can't tell, I'm pretty sure the tree's in the back of the truck. Otherwise he's, it's way close to the road and some presents. So those are the two pages I finished out of Mosaic Art Christmas. Brought out my favorite Christmas book, Christmas Color by Number, George Tufexis, and I did two pages. In here I did the candies and cookies, I think it's mostly cookies, and I totally went in with my Jelly Roll Moonlights, again by the end of the video I always remember, and made it really kind of psychedelic fantasy fun. So maybe like after you've had too many cookies, things start to look like this. <laughs> and the other page... I did was this one because one of the best fun parts for me isn't always Christmas gifts which is in the mailbox but just a lovely Christmas card from people makes my day so I did do this in Tau Trees and there's a little bit of a bleed through but with the Tau Trees you have the smaller bullet nib and I didn't worry about doing too much cleanup but very much excited to have two pages done in this book. Here we have Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. This is illustrated by Alexandra Franzese. I don't know if I said that right. And this I really thought I would get more done and I just wanted to spread the love across my book. So I did a double buddy color with my friend Jordan. She is JTS coloring on Instagram and we did the owl with his um christmas lights which i used the glaze type pen on all the lights added some stickles white gel pen my normal and then we did the next page as well which was the elf decorating the tree so it was just nice to do two pages in a row and i did basically the same alcohol marker glitter gel pen glaze pen and that is all. I really, you know, this is one I know I'm going to pick up year round though because the pages are so fun and cute and fairly easy and quick to color. So cute Christmas. Next one I colored was in Mounts 5 by Olga and I cannot pronounce her last name so not going to try. 
and I did this page. This is my first page in this book, and I like it. I still have a bit of a learning curve. I used alcohol marker for the chinchilla. Now I know what it is. And then I used water-based marker primarily on the other elements, just because the black line work is very fine and I was going to have a lot of bleed, so I used my Papermate flares. And then I used metallic gel pen, glitter gel pen, glaze gel pen, all for the little elements. So, very cute. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do some more in here. Uh, this is one of those books I bought a while ago, but then it kind of intimidated me. And they're just really cute animals. And this one is the Christmas edition, so all of them have a Christmas type theme. But there are, as you can tell, this is Mounts 5, there are other versions of the book that, I think there's one that's a Halloween theme, and the others are maybe just a general. So, okay, Christmas, three books in one, Jade Summer. This is a hefty one, and I only did one page. It was a buddy color. So, here is Santa, <clears throat> excuse me, the day after Christmas. And I did this as a buddy color with Stacy, who is um, for King and Color on YouTube. As a filming, she did not send me hers yet. So watch Instagram if you don't see it on the screen right now. But this was funny because we were chatting back and forth on Instagram. And I'm like, there's like a lot of details in here. And I'm like, what's up with the walls? Is that wallpaper? Is it like decoration? I decided it was going to be like those beads, which I always thought were so cool to have like on a doorway and you'd like go, it's, what is it, like 70s-ish. Um, so I kind of made Santa had like a beaded wall instead of just a doorway. But he turned out very cute. Love my Santa from there. Next up, Christmas Scenes Coloring Book by Ava Brown. Got one page done in here. I did the teddy bear. Having fun swinging on the ornaments. And had another marker ran out issue. But those things happen. You just roll with it. <laughs> I had a similar lighter tone, so I tried to switch, but I could not get a good fix blend where the two met. But other than that, I try not to focus on that, and I just see the fun, cute, totally non-traditional Christmas palette. I was started, I knew I wanted to do my bare purple, and then from there I just said, hey, let's use a bunch of different shades of pink and um, a little few more purples. So I did, and it is cute. Cute, cute. Okay, two more books, friends. We're almost done. Oh, wait, and some PDFs. Ooh, can't forget those. Okay. 50 Christmas Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. I did... How much did I get done in here? I did several, actually. So this is the first one I did out of here. This is a buddy color with Carla. She is out on Instagram. And hers is adorable, and I don't know why I thought I should have this greenish turquoise camel, but once you start, you can't go back. So there's camels of every color. And here I did, I could have done this so much easier if I'd used my nail polish, but I used the markers, which I'd used tau trees, and then I just added a bunch of dots. So my camel's in what I'm calling a um, sprinkles sandstorm there in the desert, but very cute, very cute, love him. And then I went on and did this page on my own, which I used some water-based, it's very crinkly, and I love this page. So if you can see, so I used Distressed Stickles, which one day I'm gonna do a whole video on stickles. They give you the glitter, but not with as much shine. I don't know how else to say it. And then on the actual leaves of my poinsettia, I used my opal glitter medium, which is what gave it the wet feel. And I used pearl, um, not glitter pearl, but like pearl accents from Ranger, which it liquid pearls, that's what it is, to make my little um, decorations on the cookies. But I love that page. And then I did this one 
as a buddy color with Shelby's Coloring out on Instagram. Show you both of our pages. The cute little giraffe, all cozy and ready for Christmas. Okay, the last book before the PDFs is 50 Christmas Elves. And I did one page in here, which was a buddy color with my friend Tammy. Tammy's Colors 2. So here are our pages. And I'm still unsure about mine. I was coloring this in a color in chat. And I love everything about her except the background. It, to me, it's baby poop brown. But... I guess it makes my cookie lady getting ready for her Christmas party with her elf helpers uh, shine that much more or not, but it's very cute. And this book was so cute and I bought it right away and I got one page done. Bummer. Oh, well, I will color in it all year long. And then the last thing I have to show you are some PDFs. So... These are from, we might have a Frankie joining us. They, um, she has books. Laura Vocal, Vocal is her name. And it's My Dots World. So she has these books, which are super cute. And if you follow her on Instagram, every now and then she'll post a um, challenge where if you respond, she will send you some pages from her book to color. And then you send her them back once they're colored. So this is what she had sent out. And she sent the, she has a black background book and the white background. So this was the first time I was coloring her um, pages. So I used exactly the same markers on both. Just so you can see the difference between white background and black background. My personal preference is the black background. I won't lie. Um, just because I didn't know what else to do to make like this a background background. But um, yeah. Those were both very fun. And my last page of December for, well, yeah, for December 2021, I did, this was a freebie from um, Danny Banani, Fun Unusual un, Unusual Suspects. Sorry, I cannot talk. Which is the Yippie Kawaii Yay um, book I finished earlier. She does have some freebies on her website, her Etsy shop, that are not in books. And one of them was this Christmas page. So I used that Tombow holiday set and corresponding glitter gel front pen and a silver metallic. And it came out really cute. And I like that she has this little spot up here so you can either test your markers or I just use it to indicate the um, colors I use. So it's kind of like, no, there's my inspiration palette. And that, friends, are all of the pages from this month. Hopefully, I have no idea how long I talked. I was trying to be a little more... Um, conscious and not as much chatter and just like book to book to book but when you have this many and you have me what else do you expect to happen that's what you get a lot of chit chatter so I hope everybody had a good December whether you are a holiday in general celebrator or not um it was it was a month so thank you to all of you who have showered me with love and support this past year i appreciate it december was a lot of fun i really enjoyed working in the books that were gifted to me and i think that will be something i do going forward because sadly november december i still have some i didn't get to color in which means y'all are too sweet quit sending me stuff <laughs> Um, I say it all the time. I do not expect any gifts of anything from anybody. I have my wish lists posted to give you inspiration because that's how my wish list gets so full is looking at other people's wish list. But if you are ever so inclined to send me something, no, I do greatly appreciate it. But your friendship is really all that I need to make my day. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, before Frankie jumps up here. And yeah, we made it through another month. We made it through the another year. It was my first full year where I was on YouTube from January to December. So I will be doing a video recap of 2021. Probably a couple. I'll probably break them into some smaller videos. And then I have some 2022 plans type videos to film as well. 
You guys know me, they'll probably be up by fe February, but I'll still film them. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you for hanging out until the end because you matter. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You are one of the best gifts Santa has ever brought me. And I am so grateful to have you in my life. Thank you, friends, and I will see you again soon.